the handbrake lever cannot be operated on this vehicle. The service brake on the rear axle works properly though. In this case, the handbrake cable is probably stuck. The handbrake cable is slackened for further fault diagnosis. To do so, the adjusting nut on the handbrake lever has to be loosened. Depending on the vehicle model, a portion of the center console has to be removed to do so. The handbrake lever can now be moved freely without any problems. The vehicle is raised and the rear wheels are removed. On both sides, the handbrake and operating levers on the brake calipers move freely. This clearly shows that the handbrake cable is stuck and has to be replaced. To remove the handbrake cable package, the following work steps must be carried out. Loosen the adjusting nut of the handbrake lever, until the cables move freely and the fastening bolts can be removed. Disassemble all relevant underbody paneling and heat shields. Depending on the vehicle model, it may also be necessary to remove the exhaust system until the handbrake cables are freely accessible. Loosen and remove all fixing screws and holders, as well as the fastening plate, so that both cables hang freely. Remove the locking pins on each brake caliper and remove the fastening bolts of the cables. The two hand brake cables can be removed now. Water and dirt have penetrated into the cable due to the damaged dust protection collar, which resulted in corrosion, and, ultimately, to jamming of the cable. In comparison, you can see the ease of movement of the new part here. Before the new handbrake cables are installed and adjusted, the mechanical handbrake mechanisms on the two brake calipers of the rear axle should first be checked and reset. Turn back the extended brake piston with the reset tool. In this work step, it is recommended to also check the additional components, such as brake pads and guide bolts for wear and proper function and, if necessary, to clean or replace them. The two brake calipers are then reinstalled. The brake pistons are put back into their working position by pumping the brake pedal. The new hand brake cables are then installed in reverse order. Mount the cable with the fastening bolts on the brake caliper and lock the locking pin. Mount the hand brake cables on the underbody again. Mount the fastening bolt on the hand brake lever, and turn the adjusting nut until play free tension is achieved. For the basic setting of the hand brake cable, tighten the hand brake to 3 to 4 detents. Tighten the adjusting nut, until it is hard to turn the rear wheels by hand. When the hand brake is released, it must now be possible to freely turn the rear wheels. If necessary, turn the adjusting nut back somewhat. After pulling the handbrake lever up with moderate manual force several times, and alternately actuating the brake pedal, the rear wheels should now still turn freely. The handbrake lever path should be set so that locking of the brake is achieved between the detents 4 to 7. In order to test the handbrake indicator lamp, switch on the ignition and pull the handbrake lever to the first detent. The indicator lamp should now light up, the rear wheels must still turn freely, and the rear wheel brake must not grind. After making the basic setting, automatic adjustment in the brake calipers of the rear wheel brake makes readjustment of the hand brake no longer necessary. The wheels are finally mounted again and the effectiveness of the hand brake is tested on the brake test stand.